Hello guys, it's me Mate again. Today I'm going to do be making the second video. Today we're gonna make custom viruses in Minecraft. They're not really that big of viruses like blindness, bad effects and stuff. And this in a use of only two simple command blocks. And this no command block creation is just two commands that are not a mix up, just one command fully rendered and a second command uh, fully rendered as well. I actually have some right here, but these are fixed. Uh, these are fixed viruses, but I kind of have to ruin them again, so. Yeah, today I'm going to teach you how to make these viruses. If you will like this, enjoy this video, then definitely drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell to never miss any of my videos, and go down to the comments. Be this puppy. Let's say this is my um, subscriber, and type in. Oh, wow. Okay. Type in whatever you want, your feelings, or if this helped you or not. Plus, I only tested this in 1.4.32, and I believe it's what I think. But I think you can use this command in any version that has command blocks that can be repeat that can go to so mode repeat chain and repeat. Those two modes, or it will not even work. So let's fix this again. Let's uh, unfix this and make it a bar. So that virus is called virus blind. And if you put this down, you get blindness, and it, it keeps every single thing a bar. The blindness, even chickens, even pigs, even cows, even anything. That's a that's an entity. So let's do this. So what we have to do is summon the scene. And voila, we blind. But you don't actually have to call the virus blind to work. You can rename it anything. But there's one thing you cannot miss. Which is the command blocks that have test groups. So when you see we may we name it, but we want to make a command block, whatever we call it, I mean. Type in test for at e, e square bracket name equals whatever you named it. It has to be exactly the same, e and capitals are going to be the same. And so close square back bracket and to double activate to put it to repeat or active or you can put it to need, needs redstone so you can activate it whenever you want but it doesn't do it immediately when you do that next get a chain block put the conditional and type in effect at e or whatever whoever you want it you can actually read off this that tells you to Use at something like at p is for the nearest player, at r is for a random player, at r is for all players, at is for any entities, but at s is to target and execute it. I don't know what the, what how to use that, but whatever. So, like I said, this works and. You put in it, will give it to the time and the effectiveness. My blindness is 213 and for 10 seconds. And if you don't want it to have particles, put in true so it doesn't show any particles and it will be all right. So put that to chain, conditional, and always active. I know it's when uncon unconditional. It does it immediately. It doesn't stop. Not see. It doesn't stop for something. It glitches out. If you, I put the condition, the blinders will stop and the, the clock will tick down and eventually wear off. That's my latest viruses. So 
that's what I already created. Now we're going to make an invisibility virus, for example. Plus, it doesn't have to be an evoker spawn egg. You can use any spawn egg as long as its name is thing. And also, we have one other option. Go to here. You can actually type in, instead of name, you can actually put type and the type entity one. So, if I put in type evoker, whenever I spawn any kind of evoker, Will start. And if I put like a pig that says virus blind, it will not work, but at this case it will work on anything that's called virus blind. Instead of unless you drop in the item, then it will not work. So let's um I use a spelling bubble tongue that we both said they now let's Make a okay. I got a perfect idea. Let's make a hunger and a poison one, which happens all in one spawn. Oh, guys, wait for this. So let's uh, get these commands blocked down. Blocks down. Get this puppy. Yeah. Put it in this mine I made. So it's placed so we need to do the command box. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what should I name this? You can actually first do the name and then copy it for the spawn of I'm just doing it this way. So let's get more actually let's use the same one. You know what, I'm going to take out half of these, and put it out in the half. What should I do, man? Virus... Hoisoning. <laughs> hey, let's call it hoisoning. Hoisoning. Oops. Hoisoning. Hoisoning. So, I had a little bit of a talk. I was doing the tap thing when you do a multiplier, you show me. The Excuse me. I still have to cough for now. It's not, I am not coughing anymore, but something wrong with my throat. Whatever. So it's. The name. Yeah, related. So, why was Hoys on you? Test for oops. <laughs> test for at e name equals virus poisoning. Okay, put this in conditional. Okay. So now the symptoms will be. The effect this will be this angle is will be actually let's do that I think again at E Minecraft poison poison for about ten seconds and effect this will be to now turn your to see like the other one. Can I do the same? Can I put with the hunger, I think, and that hunger for 10 and 13 and true, still true on that one as well. Okay, don't forget, I forgot, put this kind of conditional, always after and stuff. Okay, now it should. 
So let me go to survival game mode. So the people, as you can type in zero, but whatever. Yep, it works. So I'm poisoned, and also I have hunger. Too bad I cannot die because I'm peaceful. If you don't want it to be a hostile mob, you can do that as well. So that's our real virus poisoning. <laughs> this is seriously the coolest thing I ever seen. And this is uh, it does it on every single mob. I don't think a rabbit is a good example. Get a mob spawn egg. How about I go? Oh my god. Why? I just helped pick a hostile mob book into a lava. This past one. Yeah. yeah, it works. On um, animals and everything. It might actually, yeah, it will work on villagers as well. So. It works. And since it was a vulgar, the villager ran away. Oh no. It's so cool, I guess. Just save these for now. These are dangerous. Get another half, so we can do uh, one more. Plus, so uh, I made it so you cannot open the chest unless you have the key. I'll show you how to do that in a different video. Let's get it. You know what? Let's do it right now. How to do this? We gonna take an item. Let's quickly do this. So. I will let it, let's say it's not really yet, it can be anyway, anything, let's rename this Iron Papa, which is a reference to Jen's Wacky Guess, get it, so, so the chest is locked, so let's uh, get a new one, try to place, don't know. So we gonna do it one. Let's do two. Yeah, let's do. There. We'll do block data. Boom, boom, and minus one. Actually, it should be this state. So I don't do this. Then, and let's. Okay, how's it get? I think it's lock and the name so sub brackets so let's do it was actually I don't know also I will pop close it and now okay it's locked and I will pop so no it will not open but I put the wrong kinds of brackets. Open still. What if it's uh, these ones? This. Uh, yeah. I know what 
happen. I don't know what's wrong, but it doesn't work. That's what it did. I will accept that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Actually, no, I was going to do it. Okay, this should be enough for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you want some new videos like this. And if you do, don't forget to hit that bell, ring it right in half. Smash it and make it ring until it does. Just give me a full ring if you have like thingies. Wanted, whatever. So don't don't do that. Don't do smash it into it. So steam going or something. Just just press it and that will be it. And I'll see you guys next time. Show. See you guys.